Hello, I'm Roger Hines again here, J Bar H Cattle Company. We come outside so we can hear. I'm going to interview. Question, get over here. You're supposed to be in this. Yeah, he's over at the water trough of some filly. So let's go ahead, Allie. We'll go ahead and talk about things. So you uh, won the Grand Champion Steer here. We just seen a picture of it, of him inside you standing there. Uh, tell us a little bit about how hard you work and what you do to raise these cattle. Yes, so we have to get these cattle in uh, February and come and weigh in at the Newton County Fair and then from that we figure out what we need to feed those animals to get the rate of gain so that they can at least weigh a thousand pounds, so around 1400 pounds and not every animal is the same. So you have to sit there and figure out what rations you need to feed that steer to make them get to that weight to show. The last hundred days that I have the steers before the fair, I put them in a cooler and where it's nice and cool and it's not hot outside and wash and work their hair twice a day to get them nice and fluffy and ready for the show. So this is Youth for Agriculture. There are chickens, goats, ducks, hogs, cattle, everything farm boys or girls raise, they bring here and they show. It is enormous amount of work. They live here three days taking care of these, these animals. Uh, you should see how she takes care of these steers. It's, it's continual work. And they do it because they love it. It's worth it, isn't it? You think it's worth it, Allie? Yes, it's worth it. Agriculture is the future, future of America, and all these kids with these projects are our future of America, and we need them to work and learn how to want to work for something and have that dedication, and showing and having these projects is going to give these kids the dedication. So I guess two years ago, you won Grand National Grand Champion here in Newton County, also in Springfield. Yes and uh, you sold your steers both places. Tell us what your steer in Springfield brought. My steer in Springfield was bought by Larson Peterbilt, which is a local company around here that supports everybody, and it brought 34,000. Larson family's wonderful. They support everything they can. They're in, they're in businesses here. Uh, Race Brothers, I believe, bought your... Uh, yes, my steer at Newton County Fair the two years two ago. Two years ago. They're uh, in Carthage, Missouri, Farm Supplies. They support it. There's so many companies, local companies, that support this and make it happen. It wouldn't happen without these local companies. Now, think about all the little international companies that you give your money to when you're buying stuff, because it might be a little cheaper, and they don't support nothing. They don't support nothing of the local people. They, uh, I don't see no Chinese here. Question, you see any Chinese here? Leave that mayor alone. So, that money just goes away. It's out of the country, out of our area. Deal with your local businesses, please, that, that help the community, help the people. Thank you.